Hello, 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 everyone. Hopefully, everyone had a wonderful holiday. Trying to get back in the swing of things. And I've gotten a lot of requests for silhouette videos, especially for a video over the silhouette uh, studio, um, particularly how to set up your jobs for cut and print so that when you're creating a job that your um, job prints out perfectly. So I've got a little bit of free time. So I'm going to go ahead and knock this job off today. Um, and actually, I'm going to just pull in a job that I already have and do some edits to it and things like that. So we're going to use this file and just going to pull this into Silhouette Cameo. If you're having problems with Silhouette Cameo doing cut and print jobs, this is probably a video that you want to watch. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and delete this. We're not going to waste any time today, y'all. I'm going to jump straight on up into this video. Hope everybody's doing okay today. And at some point, I will come in and, you know, talk and things like that, answer questions and stuff like that if anybody's over in the chat. Okay, so the first thing that I do whenever I am setting up a job to do print and cut, the first thing that I do is I always use my cut mat. That's probably the number one thing. Um, if you don't use your cut mat in silhouette, you will get off. Um, and so you always want to make sure that you use your cut mat. Okay, that's probably the first thing that you do. Um, depending on the size of, and then after, so I've got my cut mat on here. You see, you can turn your cut mat off. You can turn your cut mat on. So I'm going to actually kind of reduce this to 11 and a half, uh, eight and a half by 11 inch print. I have not used my silhouette in quite some time, y'all. So um, since I haven't used silhouette in quite some time, I got to set it up so that I can do some test prints on some um, materials to see how it does with the printing cut. So I'm going to turn this mat on and let's see, I'm going to use the 12 by this 12 by 24 inch mat. So I set up my mat and then I choose my letter size. The next thing that you want to do is you want to show your print border so that you know that you're within the print border, but more importantly, your cut border. And so that red mark there, that is the cut border, right? Okay. The next thing that you want to do, and this is something for like people who do, um, people who do cut and prints, especially when you're doing um, the uh, dye sublimation prints, Sometimes these, these marks don't read because the sublimation ink comes out, you know, kind of faded. So you want to go in and you want to bump that up and make those marks as thick as you can make those marks. Good afternoon, Steve. How are you today? How are you? I'm just setting up a job here today, trying to get a video out. So you want to do that. You want to set that up and make that as thick as possible. And you could do some advanced options here where you could bring the bottom in or out. Now, this is a problem that I like to bring mine all the way out as far out as I can so that my design is in here. This is a problem that people have. With Silhouette, if you see how this cut line is going around here, and I'm just going to take all of this stuff and I'm going to group it because I'm going to be doing a lot of moving back and forth with it. If your job is outside of that red line, if your job is outside of that red line on either side, it's not going to cut. So silhouettes are only going to cut within that line. So I always bump that down. If you're printing on a small printer and your printer is just eight and a half by 11 inches, then I would tell you to go ahead and print your job landscape so that your image, you would have more room on your cut and print, if that makes any sense. 
Um, let's go in here. I'm going to kind of take a couple of things off here. So we got all this. Let's see here. This is fine. Okay, so we got that cut border there. So when I'm working, the next thing I like to do is I like to edit my design so that everything touches. And just for this design, if you're looking at this design right here and you go over into the uh, cut settings, we're going to go over to line. And I actually don't have my silhouette set up. But we're going to go over to line. Okay. And we noticed that I haven't even traced this. For some reason, that's not popping up. There we go. Let's see here. It should pop up now. So when we go over into our cut settings. One thing that you want to do is you want to, for your text, is you want to make sure that you weld this text here or group this text. I'm not sure what it's called in here. We'll see in just a second. It's been a long time since I worked in this program. So you want to edit this so that this is one piece of text or vinyl when you're doing cut and print. Also, we have to deal with this situation here and we want all of this stuff to touch. So we're going to go in and edit this design and make this design something. And it needs to be spiced up. It needs to be spiced up. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start with the text and I'm going to ungroup everything. And and so these words here here we go i want to make it nope 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 let me change the outline on that it's weld so it is welding in here so we just welded that so you want to go in and weld it and i'll show it to you over here so now that item has been welded and it is one piece which is going to be a lot easier to cut okay so that's one thing don't worry about this baby because we're going to do something with that in a second okay but this design kind of sucks a little bit, y'all. Kind of sucks a little bit. So we're going to do something with it. And I'm just going to take that outline off of there because I don't, and for this particular design, I don't need an outline. And let's see what we want to do to it. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to use this offset tool. I use the offset tool quite a lot. You can do external offsets or internal offsets and i use this a lot in my cut and print designs to help me design so i'm going to click on the offset tool and it's going to put a nice thick offset around this image and you can make it as thick or as you know as wide or as small as you want it to be you see there so you can go in and you can play with that and make it be whatever you want to be about one that's fine that works pretty good for me um and so i'm going to hit apply and then i'm going to go in and that offset i might want to change the color on it and let's see here make it do that now so many things that you can do here with this wording with this birthday girl wording you can even go in um, because you're you're doing a printing cut, remember? So you can go in and you can add patterns and things like that. So if we wanted to put that same cow print in there, we could. And then we would have to go here and scale it down and mess around with it. And that just doesn't look good on that particular one. Um we're going to do something with the queen because it will work a lot better. But you can go in, you can angle this. You can scale it down and do all different kinds of stuff with it. But we're going to do something cool with the queen. That's really cool right there. That looks pretty good. But for this job, I'm going to go out. Let me go out for a second. I'm just going back, 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 okay? 
So for this, what I actually want is I want this to be a solid color, and then I'm going to put a black background around it. And so all I'm going to do here is just kind of change these colors, and I'm going to change it up in here. And then in here, I'm going to select that layer and make that be black. And I think that's fine for me for now. Hi, um, hi, hello, Miss Arlene. How are you? Um, Karod, how are you? I don't want to mess up anybody's names. Late night crafting with Stacy. How you doing? How you doing? So, anyways, um, we're here to the queen. So, what I like to do, y'all, when I'm designing, I want to make, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and kind of zoom this in. I like to make everything touch. So, for example, with this stuff here, I'm going to make all of this stuff kind of come in here and touch each other. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Make it touch. And there we go. So, the reason that I am making all of this stuff touch y'all is because when I do my cut and print, I want everything to pull up in one piece. So I want every part of this design to touch. So I want this to touch. I want this to come down and I'm going to make this go into here. And I think I'm going to move this queen. Going to take it up a little bit. And and then I'm going to do something with this black in here because I did see a pattern that I think I might like to use. So I'm going to go in here and see what I can do with this bottom bottom pattern. Go with that black. I just want that that um, crackled look there. That's the look that I want. And so I'm going to do it. It's going to make me do it individually. And I don't want the computer to go crazy. So I'm going to do that there. So I like that. Okay. Let me see. So I think I kind of like, I think I kind of like that. Um, we'll go with that. I could do something with this. It needs just a little something. Boom. Okay. I think I like that. Okay. What do y'all think about that? Let's see here. Here, I'm going to come in and this outline, if you're going to put an outline on something, then put an outline on it. If you're not going to put an outline on it, then don't. But like that little thin outline, it's just too thin to really cut. So when you're setting up your job, you got to always think about all of this type of stuff. Okay, so the job set up. So now... I can take all of this and size it so that it fits within that red box, right? Okay. Now I'm going to take it. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to take a quick look and see what I'm working with and what it is that I need to do to get this to print how I want it to print. If I do a simple trace on it. If I do a simple trace, this is what I'm going to have. I'm going to have this whole outline and see all of these pieces and all of this here. And I don't want that. So even if some kind of way I got some yellow in there and I do need to change that out. Even if I did it with the black, I would have it. It would be like this. It's still not what I need it to be. So I'm going to go in and we're going to fix that. Okay, so. I'll go back over here to the design and what I'm going to do, I'm going to fix that. So the first thing I'm going to do is this design right here is yellow. I'm going to make that. That needs to be pink. Let's see. No, that needs to be black. And the no, the, that needs to be the pink. And then the outline on that needs to be black and then it needs to match this there okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select 
everything here and I'm going to go over to this little slice of bread, which is the trace area. And once I'm in the trace area, we're going to put a trace on this. Now, this is probably the most important part um, that I do when I'm setting up my designs to print out in silhouette. Because if you know, if you do cut and print in silhouette, you'll know that cut and print, it will get off sometimes. So that's the whole purpose of this video. So we're going to do a solid feel. I'm going to bump this up all the way. I need this to go all the way around the outside. Don't worry about this because we're not doing an inner trace. I just want this outside. So I'm going to hit a outline trace here. Because I want to be a, when I do the cut and print, I'm going to print this design on, let's say, a dark, um, uh, on a, a white, you know, vinyl, uh, printable vinyl or on a, uh, 3G opaque paper, and I'm going to need to just cut around the white. The printer is going to print everything else. So if I zoom in, you'll see that little red outline, right? Now, this is what happens when people go to print. They go in, and let's just print this red outline. This is the red outline. When people go to print, you see you have all of this here and right here we missed some stuff in here you got this space in here we're going to deal with that i'm going to tell y'all how to deal with that in a minute because for example if you were to print this on a blue shirt then this white would be showing so we got to go in and we got to fix that but this is going to come up all in one piece in one piece but the problem is when silhouette goes in and it starts to cut it's cutting exactly around this line. So you got to do one more step for that line. Let's make sure I got it selected. And I know that I've got it selected because I'm looking up here in the corner right here and I can see the red selected. So I'm going to go here to the offset tool and I'm going to offset the trace that I did. But instead of me making it big, I'm going to do it at, oh, 0 0.025. Let's try that one. Let's hit apply. See if that one is. Because you just want it to be small. You just want a very, very small trace around it. So if you zoom in, you can see this trace around it. And you can play with this. You can make it bigger. You can make it small. But the reason you want to do this is because with this, you want to take that, that trace and the first trace, we got to select it. The first trace, we need to move on up out of our way and delete it. But that second trace that's on the paper, you want to make that the color of your shirt. And the reason you want to make the color of your shirt is because if your design gets off anywhere, right? If your design gets off anywhere, y'all, and this is the color of your shirt, let me go ahead. Let me, for example make this as if this was oh let's go purple and i'm gonna take that an object and i need to order it to the back um send it to the back send it to the back there we go okay boom see how that is so if my shirt is purple and all of this is purple I'm saving myself a lot of time. I mean, we're going to actually print this out. I'm going to show you all how this works. I'm not going to print it out today because I need the mat, but I'm going to come back in part two and I'm going to print everything out and show you all. Um, the thing is, when you do this, when you do it this way, you're saving yourself when you're when you're doing your printing cut because if this is purple, it's going to cut. It's going to cut around this in purple. Now, you still going to have the option right here to pick this. So you don't have to have this purple on your shirt. You're going to have the option to pick that. 